Hello everyone. I'm Aaron, a birding naturalist. Welcome to my channel. My family and I have been on a road trip through some of the states of the southwestern U.S. And the past few days, we've been camping alongside a very cool keystone species. Check this out. Look at that! What do I mean by keystone species? Let's talk. Saguaro cacti. Look at these amazing giant saguaro. So, saguaro cactus is an example of a keystone species. What does that mean? Well, in an ecosystem, if an ecosystem is dominated by a particular species, think maybe redwood trees in a redwood grove. Since the redwood tree is the dominant species, the most common massive species that really just sort of influences a great deal of the area, you would expect it to have a lot of interactions with the other species in that ecosystem. It's not really surprising. But sometimes a species is not really the dominant species in an ecosystem. It's not necessarily the most, contributes the most mass. It's not the most numerous, not the most densely populated. But because of what that species is, it interacts with a huge number of other species in that ecosystem and really ties them all together in some way. And that's the concept of a keystone species, a species that is not the dominant species in an ecosystem and yet has so many interactions and so much influence on so many other aspects and other components of that ecosystem that if you pulled that out, much of the ecosystem would collapse. Just like the keystone in an arch, the top middle stone, it actually holds the least amount of pressure. It bears the least load of any stone in an arch. And yet, if you pull that keystone out, the entire arch collapses. Here we are, giant saguaro, a keystone species. The body of this plant is used as a nest platform for raptors. The, you can see actually there are some holes like that one right there, where woodpeckers burrow into the side of the saguaro. And not only do the woodpeckers use it, but many, many other species then use the hole once the woodpecker abandons it. The flowers are a really important source of nectar and pollen for a wide variety of birds and mammals like bats and insects. The fruit are an incredibly important source of food for a bunch of mammals and birds and reptiles and insects. And even once the giant saguaro dies, after it's like 200 years old, the body, as it starts to sort of decay and fall over, becomes a source of nutrients and also a home for, again, a wide variety of species. And so the saguaro is one of these ones where it is not the most dominant species on the ecosystem here. It is sort of scattered around amongst many, many other species. And yet, if you were to magically disappear all the saguaro cactus tomorrow, a huge number of other species would have a tremendously hard time. Large amounts of other components of the ecosystem of the Sonoran Desert, where I am, would just collapse. Now, keystone species aren't always plants. Um, another fun example of a keystone species are beavers. Beavers, not the biggest species in their ecosystem, certainly not the most numerous, and yet, if beavers come into an area, they build their dams, 
And those dams influence everything. They influence how the water flows through the ecosystem. That change of water influences the plants, which influences the birds and the mammals and the insects and the reptiles and the amphibians. By having, by having beavers in an ecosystem, you dramatically change the entire ecosystem. And if you pull those beavers out, you change the course of rivers, which changes everything, the plants and the birds and the mammals. Everything else completely alters. So beavers are another good example of a keystone species. So keystone species are this, is this interesting sort of concept and idea in ecology that are often used and identified as ways of making sure that ecosystems function. If you can identify where the keystone species are and you can protect those keystone species, you're going to do a lot towards protecting that ecosystem. So it's a useful, interesting concept in ecology and also rangeland management and wildlife management, species protection, all sorts of ideas like that also have come together under this keystone species concept. So hope you enjoyed that. Hope you enjoyed checking out some giant saguaro cactus. Thank you very much for the view. Subscribe to the channel. And until next time, enjoy the natural world.